This photo of Saturn was made by the Cassini spacecraft as it approached the planet. And here she is as we approach in-game. Today, we're matching up in-game footage with images from NASA's Cassini mission. We'll see some differences, some surprising similarities, and share with you recent discoveries in Saturn's rings. Here we have Saturn with its largest moon, Titan. Amazingly, the perspectives matched. Although the game is missing the shadow from Saturn's rings, even the Cassini mission was surprised by shadow play at every turn. This image isn't computer generated. This is Saturn backlit by the sun. The green glow on the planet is coming from light reflecting off the rings. But here in the game, uh, not so much. Now let's take a view of the rings themselves. On the right is the same shot by the Cassini spacecraft. It's incredible that even the faintest rings are reproduced line per line. The only things missing are its tiny shepherd moons like Pan, who was discovered clearing the ink gap. We spoke to planetary scientists at NASA to better explain how these gaps are formed. As Pan, Pan's large enough that as it orbits around Saturn, it clears out the um, ring material and then and you get a gap. And that's probably how the moon may, be, may have formed. It accreted that material as it, was, as it got bigger and bigger and bigger. It started accreting more and more and more of that ring material. And now you have this really neat looking flying saucer moon called Pan. Even though Pan isn't in game, its wake is very faint and visible up close. Now we're here at the Cassini division. Like the spacecraft, it's named after Giovanni Cassini, who discovered the divisions in Saturn's rings and also had the best perms of any astronomer ever. We're here to show you what ring grazing really looks like because it doesn't exactly look like this. These images were taken by the Cassini spacecraft and then processed by the amazing Kevin M. Gill, giving us the perspective of flying over Saturn's rings. This data set helped planetary scientists understand the true dynamics of ring particles. Yes, yeah, so this was another surprising thing that was discovered by Cassini, was that the rings uh, are not as flat as we originally thought. In fact, there's places where there are uh, big pillars of material which are being thrown up uh, away from the main ring plane. And we believe that those are due to the gravitational action of some of the moons that are passing by and causing disruption. Uh, in the rings. We see other features in the rings as well, such as the uh, propeller features, which are dark shadows that move along the, the rings like spokes of a bicycle wheel. And Cassini has been able to uh, image these in detail that was uh, never seen before. Another feature that hasn't been seen before is here in the Keeler Gap. A very small moon about eight kilometers wide named Daphnis sailed through the edge of Saturn's D-ring. Its gentle pull on the rings creates waves as it zooms by. Its particle wake is one of the most stunning and mysterious features in Saturn's rings. Here Kevin interprets what Daphnis waves might look like up close. Because in-game dynamic particles are just a soft textured layer over a sea of rocks. I mean, to be fair, it's not bad considering the enormous scale of this game. So... If you've wondered what Saturn looks like up close, or you just want to relive Cassini's daring dive through its rings, check out these links in the description for raw images from NASA and processed footage from Kevin M. Gill. Maybe you'll want to retrace Cassini's flight path in game. Or not. Did someone drop spaghetti on a map and say, Oh, well, that looks good to me? As always, thanks for watching, and subscribe if you want to see more cool science stuff or more of stuff. Very small moon about eight kilometers wide named Daphnis. Daphnis? Daphnis? I've never said this stuff out loud. Okay, I've got to, I, I'm gonna keep screwing this up. Daphnis is right, I think. I'll give you a couple of versions, okay. Damn it.